Now, last but not least, uh, we got to shift over to our nation's capital. Um, a bit of positive news uh, because there's been a lot of negative surrounding uh, the Washington football team, um, which I had said that name a couple <laughs> weeks ago. And I said it just in, in a way of because we were no longer going to uh, identify them by their previous name. Yeah. I didn't think that was actually going to be the name. But that's what I'm telling you, bro. I think like they people was definitely watching the show because when these things happen and then you right away you see this stuff going down, that people is definitely watching, bro. They 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 saw you when you said that and they was like, you know what, we can't come up with anything right now, so we just got to go with with, with, with the legend said. <laughs> I, I I I gotta believe that's the case, bro, because I again I said it just as a way so we wouldn't have to identify them by the previous name. Yeah. And lo and behold. They will now call themselves, for this season anyway, the Washington yeah. football team. There's speculation they may keep that name. There's also, but obviously the speculation is that they're still working on a new name. Um, so we got that going on with them. And then also Alex Smith, who had that horrific injury two years ago, has been medically cleared. Um, he's got all types of rods and screws in his leg. Uh, he had numerous surgeries because he had caught an infection. I'm just happy to, to hear that everything's going well with him and he's been medically cleared. But Tripp... Washington football team, Alex Smith, what are your thoughts? Uh, I mean, first of all, I saw the pictures of Alex Smith's leg, and it, it looked pretty bad. I know he's been medically cleared to play. I, I'm scared for him. You know what I mean? Like, I'm scared for him to go out there and, and take another hit like that. So, you know, again, I always want cats to get their bread and, and play the game that you love. But it was scary, man. What happened then after you know the, the infection and all that? That's a, that's a scary thing, bro. So I'm I'm nervous for him. Um, they have Dwayne Haskins out there, you know, the, the young boy. And I I don't think it's a situation where okay, Alex Smith has cleared the play and now he's jumping right back in to the starting lineup because I'm pretty sure that you know you, you they're gonna want to test that out. The thing that sucks is there's no preseason this year, so it's not like you got the preseason to even see if he can actually get back to what he was, you know. And, and Alex Smith actually was playing some really good football the last, I, I believe, four seasons of his career. You know, Kansas City changed, turned his whole life around, and, and Andy Reid out there kind of turned, turned this whole situation around because it wasn't looking good for him in San Fran. So he finally gets his contract. You know, you get into um, to, 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 to Washington and they have that type of injury. And then after the injury – have surgery that causes you to, to miss a whole other year. It's tough. You know, I definitely wish him wish him well. Um, hey, listen, God willing, he can go out there and, and, and ball out. That will be an amazing thing for him. I'm just scared for him, though. Yeah, I I don't think we're, we're really going to see him on a, on a football field. Um, first thing we got to consider is that when you take that amount of time off, um, the, the speed of the game does not slow down with you. So to think that you haven't played in two years and you're just going to get on the field and be able to adjust to the speed of the game, it's not going to happen that way. And at the quarterback position where you're the most vulnerable to those type of gruesome hits, it, it would just be, you know, suicide to put him back on the field right now. Alex Smith might be, though, one of the most unluckiest quarterbacks the game has ever seen because, as you said, he, his career in San Fran started off very slow. Once he got it going, he gets injured, and then Kaepernick took over, and he never got the job back. And then he goes to Kansas City, and he's getting it going, and then they draft Patrick Mahomes. And then he gets traded to Washington. He gets a big contract. They were 6-3. and three. He had them in playoff contention. And then he breaks his leg, ultimately leading to the surgery, which leads to a staph infection and multiple surgeries. Um, I believe ESPN did a special on it where they actually had to take some of the thigh muscle and cut it off and put it on his – you know, his shin and calf yeah. because the staph infection had eaten away so badly at the muscle. Um, so that's why I don't I'm think. For him. Huh? That's why I'm nervous for him. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah. I, I don't think he touches a field, man. I think um, Haskins is the future. They have Case Keenum as a, as a security blanket, as the backup. Uh, I believe they even brought in the, the quarterback from Carolina, uh, Allen. Um, so this is more of a feel-good story. Uh, but I would be completely shocked if we ever see Alex Smith in a meaningful football game. Now, he may get on the field to take a kneel down. He may get on the field in, in the last couple seconds just to show, hey, I made it all the way back. 
But there is no way I, I could actually see him standing behind an offensive line, preparing to make a meaningful throw in a meaningful game after that type of injury. Yeah, and he's, he, you know, he's 36. Yeah. So he's already, you know what I'm saying, he's at that age where if you're not already Aaron Rodgers or Drew or Tom, one, you know, one of those caliber players by 36, you ain't going to be – you wasn't going to be around in this league much longer anyway. Now, had he not gotten hurt and was playing straight through, that would have been something different. But now to come back again this season, you know, he's not getting pushed right back into the starting lineup. So would he even get minutes this year anyway? So now we're talking about coming back again at age 37. Yeah, yeah I don't it, – Yeah, it's, it might be a wrap for him. It's, it's a feel-good story, but it, it, that's all it is. We got to – and also, let's not forget this. We talk about, you know – all, all the things he had to go through after surgery, they almost amputated that leg, bro. Yeah. That's how bad it was. That's why um, I'm like, yo, all the stuff we was hearing, like, yeah. how is it yeah. even possible? I think he's medically cleared because the leg is strong enough to do activities on, but yeah. I, he, he's not going to be out there, man. There's no way. There's yeah. no way. Yeah, I don't even know if shoot, does he even go back. I mean, he, he's under, he's, he's still under contract. Um, I, like I don't have it off the top of my head. Huh? One more year? I think I think this is the last year of guaranteed money on this contract. Okay. Um, I think next year they can kind of cut ties without having to own anything. So that's that might be the reason as well that you just keep them on and you, as a sign of good faith, like you know you got hurt with us. Granted, you'll get your money, but then next year we'll move on because we know Haskins is the future. So yeah, it was a freak type of situation yeah. where he wound up having to miss even more time after the surgery. Right. Right. So you know Haskins is the future, and they, and. The Washington football team is moving forward with Haskins, new head coach. It's a feel-good story, but Alex Smith is not coming back, not to play anyway. Misfit, Murder Ave Gang, we're in the building. Make sure y'all check out my last battle, Fire, Always Bodies. After that, check out Real Fans, Real Talk. Real talk, we as real as you thought.